Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Let's continue, let's quickly continue some of the training missions you might be interested. I was going through harms and refueling in my last video. Let's see the missile threat. That might be interesting. To the north is an SA-8. East is an SA-13. The south is blocked by an Alamo carrying MiG-29. And west is the venerable SA-2. Okay, so I'm in the middle of some threats, basically. Uh, I'm carrying two harms, some uh, cluster bombs. And I can see there is a difference between my loadout and my wingman's loadout. So he's carrying, instead of Amram's, he's carrying the P variant of these uh, sidewinders. So he's pretty much useless against the uh, MiG-29. I was trying to send him to attack this MiG-29, but I won't do that. Just because he is not uh, armed for this this task, I will take the care about the MiG-29. Okay, that's the best possibility. Just uh, I will take care of MiG-29 and I will send him to attack the SA-2 site, which is between. As you can see, we are here. This is the MiG-29 and this should be the SA-2 site, which is between us. It's, oh, it's SA-6. It's more, more advanced, even more advanced. It's a very dangerous system, to be honest. I don't like it. So... I will instruct my wingman to attack this SA-6 with harms. There is SA-4 with two radars. That's interesting. They have like two radars. Let me quickly check this. Just one radar. If there is two radars, maybe it's best to do this by the cluster bomb. But I have to first get to get over the target just to be able to bomb these uh, two radars. Are they somewhere nearby? Okay, they are pretty much on the same spot, so it's a definitely nice nice target for the for the cluster bombs. And this should be the SA-8. So far some BTR-80, this is uh, some APC only. BTR-80, T-80, ZSU Shilka is here, so triple Shilkas. And that's all. So no SA-8, something like was mentioned in the briefing. But there is another target here, and this is another SA-4. Again with two radars. So it seems there is this like this west side is okay. I do not need to pay attention to these targets here. Not gonna attack Shilkas, it's useless. I have to focus on, definitely on this MiG-29, just to quickly check whether he's just one ship or two ship. I don't know, we'll see later. So, we need to take care about this SA-6, definitely. I'm gonna instruct my wingman to do so. And then we need to solve this, uh, these two SA-4 problems. Basically, maybe I will go there with the cluster bombs. Let me check position of these two radars. Okay, it's also very close to each other, so it's definitely a task for a cluster bomb. Under my wings, I have 
two pairs. Okay, that's that's perfect. And still some harm, some harm, so I can maybe uh, seed this SA6, or my wingman will seed this SA, SA6. He's shooting the harms in pairs. Maybe I will be I will be able to stop him once he sh once he shoots the first harm, just to recall him back before he shoots the another. There's really really a tiny gap between between uh, first and second harm. And the uh, AI wingman is shooting. So he might be able to save one harm for this SA4. I can then fire my harm at it. And uh, the second harm might uh, be able to hit this. One of the radar here in SA4. And the second will be with the cluster bomb. So I will still have like four cluster bombs for this. One or two radars depends whether I'll be able to stop my wingman to shoot this SA-6. But we, before I can do all of this, I must deal with this uh, MiG-29, which is flying behind us, like... It's another unit here, but that's definitely not a target for us. Uh, somewhere here on the airfield, I cannot see them on recon. So maybe some some old type of mark there. As you can see, it's a training unit in the middle of the of the Italy, and there are some uh, some enemy units just in the middle, and also some capture, captured points of interest here in Sicily. So that's interesting. Okay, so let's uh, let's go for this mission. So my first goal will be to ask wingman or command my wingman to attack this SA-6 and then turn back to attack this MiG-29. After these threats are done, our hands will be pretty much very free to deal with these two SA force. Okay, let's let's start the mission. Such planning is uh, usually uh, necessary. It might change during the campaign. If you start the campaign, such such planning might change without any problems. But it's always better to have at least some plan which might change than to have like nothing. And then you might be uh, really surprised how it goes. So let's uh, quickly check to this HDS spot. I'm waiting for the SA-6 to become active. Okay, lights off. SA-6, SA-4 is already active. I do not see SA-6 yet. You know what? I'm going for the. I'm going for the. As we are in the circle already. I'm going for the MiG 29 first. Initially, that's the highest priority for us. I've locked him. He's turning away. Let's fly out of this circle first. I do not want to get any higher just because the thread is still active behind me. And on my ra uh, radar warning receiver I can see like uh, SA4 is twice there, it's like two radars. The line is like uh, older than the usual line so I can see there are like two, two active radars behind me. Okay, he is getting into range. I'm gonna wait with the launch till the last moment until he cannot turn away. Let's keep up some okay speed. Let's say 500 knots is perfect. Oh, I lost the track. I lost the track. 
finally got him. Pit bull. So there is no room for him to hide. I again lost the track. Somehow this F-16 loses tracks. Interesting. It should hit him every second. Okay, a hit. And he's going down. And I lost the track again. Interesting. He's still flying. Looks like so. Or is he falling down? I don't know. Oh, he crashed. Okay. So, that was the first threat. Maybe let's go for the SA4 now, just because it's active and the circle is pretty big. We might be able to climb a little bit before we do that. And I'm gonna send my wingman there just to use his arms his arms first okay so he's he's still full two harms four bombs and two hits means like two hits means like two sidewinders it's like heat missiles and if he says to to radar it means like two radar missiles like the like the uh amram i can see the sa6 already it's there the sa4 is active the first one and the second as well maybe let's ask my wingman to attack this uh, oh let's attack the sa4 first just because the circle is bigger. Maybe I'm gonna attack this SA6 now. Okay, the wingman confirmed that he's going for the... Cowboy, one, two, rejoin formation. Okay, I have asked him to rejoin, Cowboy, so one, two, on my way. hopefully he fired only one missile, so let me quickly check it. Okay, he's still carrying the one one harm and he's climbing into my altitude. So he fired on on the only one SA4 radar. And I'm still waiting for this SA6 to become active. It's still locked, but uh, I need like better lock. And I'm too high for this purpose. It's useless to be so high. Just because you are unable to get lower if necessary. I'm gonna check the harm of my wingman is still on the way okay SA6 is active altitude, altitude. switched off let's wait until they turn it on again way too close too close for comfort Oh, I have to fire already. I'm too close. It's a big risk for me. SA6 is very effective. It's not 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 a funny funny system. Okay, but the radar has been destroyed. Let me quickly check the harm of my wingman still flying. I switched on currently. Okay, so that was perfect hit. Let's send him to attack the second. Cowboy, one, two, 
radar of the same SA system. He was lucky that they, that they uh, turned on the radar and the harm was able to see it. Okay, let's lock this SA-4. Bingman attack my target. Cowboy, one, two, attack target at bearing three, one, zero, 25 miles. Two, welcome. Okay, target confirmed. It's going for that. I can see him down below, here, he's flying here, I don't know whether you can see my cursor, just watching him to fire his harm. Now it's better for you. He's at like four four thousand feet. Okay, still no missile release. I mean the circle luring the SA four to get active. Still the radar is off. Okay, they turned it on now. Switched off. <laughs> they do. They are really afraid. Maybe I need to fly a little bit more into the circle. So they think they can catch me. And I'm too high now. On. I'm gonna fly into this second circle, I do not want to be there. Okay, he fired now. As they switched on the radar. Magnum is in the air. Okay, let's allow him to attack. He will now continue to attack with his cluster bombs. The SA-4 should be no more, but I still can see it somehow. So maybe the harm missed. I'm not gonna attack his SA-4. I don't want to mess with him. He's going to do so. Magnum. Let's wait until they... Until the harm hits the first radar. It's locking me. Oh, I pulled too hard. Let's lure this missile into the ground. Altitude. Altitude. I do not see it anywhere. Hopefully the harm hit, I don't know, just because there are two SA-4s on one place. Okay, my wingman is dropping CBUs. 
That's great job. I don't know whether they are going to turn on this radar now. Okay, let's keep it locked. I'm gonna fly lower. And we'll do the attack by the cluster bombs. So let's fly a little bit faster. Now the radar is on, but it's too late for them. Altitude, 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 Okay, probably the radar was hit, but uh, okay, looks like not. Let's fly like this. That is the target. I was unsuccessful in this trial. I hit I hit some different object. I'm pulling two big G's. It's locking me again. There is the radar, I can see it if I zoom a little bit. Finally, finally the radar is out, so let's let's fly away. Okay, so that was the threat mission. So all the weapon targets were destroyed or disabled, basically. They are now out of operational status. I'm almost Winchester. Just one Amram under my wing, and my wingman is okay as well. Let me ask about his status, weapon status. Cowboy, one, two, cowboy, one, one, weapons check. Cowboy, one, two, two, arms, two, heat, fuel state, 3,000, 
Okay, so he used all his uh, harms and two bombs. He's now currently on uh, just two bombs. My fuel is 1600, so I might be able to get to the base without any problems whatsoever. That's the base. But it will take too long. I'm going to show you some other, maybe the last training mission, and then I will jump directly into the into some uh, campaign. So let's end this mission. I don't know these last missions. Offensive basic flight maneuvers. Learn the fine art of flying to the elbow and gain mastery over any enemy. So, this looks like a fight between me and SCU-27. Here over the Italy. What will be my... Okay, just... Just sidewinders <laughs> and the SU in front of me. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I uh, I won't be surprised if I will be uh, will will lost this uh, this training mission. I would like to see some Amrams, not sidewinders, but uh, it is what it is. Okay. Oh, that was easy. He's just in front of me. And he's burning already. So if this was the training mission, it was quite easy. Maybe it is uh, maybe it is good just to dogfight a little bit with this guy. I will try it once again, just to see how this goes. It might end up very, very bad. I do not shoot him if in first few seconds, but we'll see. Let's see how this goes. Fully armed SU-27 in a dogfight with me. It's a serious threat for me in such close close combat. Altitude. Altitude. I have to select proper program first. That is the first step. I lost some of the I lost the visual, okay? He's slowly getting onto my six. I have to change something. I don't know what to change. Okay, so far. We are like very equally turning. He's not getting onto better position. We are transitioned to the deck. And he seems to have like troubles to fly at such low altitude. And I'm getting some uh, angle advantage over him. slowly, very slowly. I 
I'm always pulling my, my stick too hard, therefore I'm losing some airspeed all the time. I'm always out of the ideal like airspeed in, in, in Falcon. That's why I cannot dogfight basically in this game. I'm always getting away from dogfights. Okay, let's let's build some speed first, and then I'll I'll be able to pull him into 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 hut like this. I'm pulling him, pulling him. Clock. Okay, the missile is tracking and it was a hit. Okay, so as you can see, he's still flying. He was just damaged. I'm out of gun. I can't use my gun. So I should use only only missiles to hit him. Let's create some distance so I can use the missile. It's too close. Okay, second hit. And he hit the ground. Whew, okay, so that was this training mission. Done like twice. First time, like you should do it. Like, <laughs> fire as fast as you can when you see the bandit. Just kill him. And the second time, just, just wait and give him a chance to, to be in a dogfight with you. This is much dangerous approach and it might cost you uh, your mission basically. And this is the opposite of it. It's a defensive basic flight maneuver, so maybe I be flying in front of the of this Suhoi. And I should be able to somehow get out of this uh, bad position. So let's see how this goes. Basically, I cannot shoot first. I need to first get into some uh, some good position to use my weapons. This will be interesting. Let's use the EZM and let's turn. I do not see him, I do not see the missile. Okay, that's the missile. It's tracking perfectly. So I'm in big trouble. Like really. Still tracking. It was in the radar missile. It was not infrared. So I'm using the infrared missile, he's using some kind of radar missiles, but there's sure I'm sure there is a mixture of missiles under his wings. Let me quickly let me try to use my afterburner and build some uh, some distance, maybe. Just because when I turn back, he will always shoot me like there is no tomorrow. So let's hit full afterburner. F-16 can accelerate pretty fast, it's very very effective, like aerodynamically effective aircraft with really powerful engine, so the thrust to, thrust to weight ratio, ratio is amazing and I can fly very quickly. Okay, so let me use the dogfight mode. 
Okay, missiles are cooled. And I can see I have some gun, like 50 says gun. Now I'm able to fire, okay. So the gun is working in this mission. Do you think it's time to turn already? Okay, let's do it. Maybe let's go down. So he won't be able to lock me such easily against the... on the background of the ground. A missile again. So let's fly away. Or let's at least try fly away. I will use this little hill to hide myself. If possible, I don't know. I hope we will lose the track, but seems like not. Okay, he fired another missile. Another missile. He lost track. There are these two missiles still somewhere behind me. Let's bring them into the denser air. But the SU-27 is is a missile truck, so he is able to carry a lot of missiles. Let's hide into that city. <laughs> I might hide be behind some building. Okay, let's recommit quickly. Bingo, bingo. Ah, how many missiles did he shoot? How can you beat the fully loaded SU-27 which is behind you? Like it's a missile truck so basically you are I'm gonna start this mission with the split S maneuver once again just to get in front of the ground and to do so as quickly as possible Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> He was able to lock me very quickly. So I have to run away to lure all his missiles at me and then just turn back when he is out of missiles. Basically he is carrying like 8 to 10 radar missiles. And beside that, he can carry like another four infrared missiles on his uh, wingtips and the secondary or like first first pylon under the wing. 
so he's still pretty capable. So let's use the tactics as before. Maybe I'm gonna hide behind that big hill in the distance. You can see it's such such standalone big hill. Or maybe I'm gonna use this ridge here. It's quite big mountains. And he might have troubles to lock me there. Altitude, altitude. Let's lure him to shoot first missile. Okay. First missile launched. there behind me. Okay, seems like it lost it tr its track. Although there is still a warning on my radar warning receiver. Too fast for these missiles. In such dense air, the missile will quickly run out of energy. Okay, let's hide behind this hill. Maybe I will pop up from the other side. Okay, he lost track. somewhere in front of me. Another missile in the air. Let's hide again. This will be very tight. I've beat it the last missile. I cannot see any other lock. So let's try to get him. A little bit confused from the radar warning receiver. Where are you, buddy? Lock. 
Okay, there was no track for the missile. Okay, the missile is tracking him. Hit. Let's shoot another one. Just because this is a big aircraft. Okay, hit and destruction. Phew! <laughs> that was really a tough mission. I'm definitely running out of fuel, just 900. I never know how to get out of this uh, dogfight mode. So I won't be listening to this uh, sidewinder sounds, but okay. So guys, that was this uh, defensive basic flight maneuvers mission. Pretty tough, right? I don't know whether I was able to to beat this mission previously. I don't remember such a, such scenario. It really surprises me how nasty it was. Okay, finally got out of the uh, dogfight mode. It is so sad that you, you do not see any debriefing be, uh, after the training missions. It's just only be, uh, after the, like regular missions. I would be really, really interested how many how many missiles were in the air? <laughs> so this was a completely different situation than in previous video, in previous mission. So the gear is down. Let's go for the landing. Fuel is 800. Not too much, but still enough to go around if necessary. Quite funny mission, to be honest. You have to always drag the missiles into the denser air. The burn time of the missile engine is uh, maybe just 5 to 10 seconds. And once all the fuel is burned, the missile is just a, just a glider. And you have to simply uh, change direction from time to time. So also the missile will change its direction and every time the missile is changing the direction it costs, costs the missile a lot of energy. Just for the just for the heading change, and the missile is unable to to increase its energy just because the the engine is out, burnt already. So that's the only only possible way how to do this is simply run away full afterburner and change change the heading from left to right, up and down, so the missile which flies over always on some lead lead course or is, is, is going to meet you in some specific point where you will be flying it's not following you Cowboy, one, one. Capodicino, power. Taxi clear of the runway. right so the missile is heading not into you but it's heading into a visual point in the in the distance in front of you 
So you have to constantly change this point for the missile where you are heading. And the faster you are, the higher the changes are and the faster the missile has to change its own like heading and the faster it depletes, uh, depletes uh, their energy. So basically the, the, the your, your airspeed influences the, the, the speed in which the missile depletes the energy. And after that it's just a pipe flying in the air without like without any airspeed and if you change your if you change your direction like two times more it's completely out of energy and it's unable to reach you anymore but there is of course the MAR or MAR minimum abortion range in which if the missile is fired you have like no time to turn around and you are there is there is no possibility to turn around and fly away simply as that so the missile is such the missile point is such close to you that you cannot fly away from the missile this mar is a dynamic it's not like a static it's not just like 10 miles it depends on the altitude of you like the target the altitude of the launching aircraft the speed of the launching aircraft the speed of the of you, of you like the target so it's it's always calculated guys so that was this defensive basic flight maneuvers and there was the last mission maybe i'm gonna fly it now head on basic flight maneuvers so that's the same like in the previous missions, but wait a second, it's not a head-on. Head-on basic flight maneuvers. It looks like the SU-27 is in front of us. Let me quickly check my... <laughs> okay, so these are, these are the P variants of the Sidewinders. So I have to be behind the aircraft in order to shoot them. And uh, it's not like a uh, high of poor sight missile, so you have to be exactly pointed behind the aircraft in order to su shoot such missiles. So I'm really uh, glad to see me comparing with the... Okay, and the SU is flying at me, definitely. It's in front and it's already locking me, so it's it's not flying away, it's flying into me. Where is he? So let's try to get behind the tail of the SU-27. Oh, almost hit. Looks like the missile was tracking. He's shooting the missile high of bore sight, as you can see, but there was no tracking whatsoever. I have to maintain at least some speed. Let's go into one circle with him. The SU-27 is a really a missile truck. It carries like 12, 12 missiles. Like this. And he killed me. Okay, let's repeat this mission once again. I will need to keep an eye on my airspeed. It's very hard when I lock the bandit in the, into such padlock and I do not see my airspeed. So I have to maybe stay in the cockpit like visual and just move my head I 
maybe if I use this view for the dogfight. Okay, once again. There is no time to even launch the countermeasure program to, to launch flares, basically, if, if you need them. But if he was like further away, he would use his high radar missiles, so he was be there like the previous mission. Okay, let's stay in this cockpit for a little while. Let's lock him, let's use the dogfight mode. Okay, let's try it one more time and let's call this an episode. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. It's very sad that I have like very primitive sidewinders, just the rear. Just just to be able to, to be shoot like to, from the rear hemisphere. And he's carrying like the all aspect R70 archers basically. Which can be launched from any aspect. Okay. Maybe let's try it once again. I will try to maneuver much earlier, not to not to pass, not to merge with him, but uh, I will try to do some maneuver before I went into the merge. And I will go into the split S, basically to the ground, so I will increase my energy status. So let's quickly switch on these countermeasures. Let's lock him. And let's go for the... Okay, where is he? Where is he? Can't see him. I have still enough energy, enough airspeed. Now I have to control my airspeed. And let's try to circle with him. Airspeed still okay. It's very hard to fly without a padlock. I have to constantly look where he is. He is somewhere on my on my ADA clock. This can be seen on the radar warning receiver. Okay, I see him now already. So I'm gaining some the some of the better angles slowly onto him. At least I hope so. Too close for his missiles, probably. I'm too slow again, so let's increase my speed. It's always like this, if I pull too hard, my energy is lost and I'm unable to turn such effectively. Seems like I'm gaining some angles already. That's always nice to see. Where is he? 
Okay, there. Okay, I'm pulling him into hut. He's too close for the missiles. I was trying to gun him, but he reverses the turn. And I'm too slow again. See his powerful Rilke engines. Okay, let's pull him into hut. Let's finish this. He's far, far away from me. No missile track. This guy, this one is tracking a hit, and he's going down. Finally, got him. Okay, destroyed by the... <laughs> by the gun. Whew! <laughs> tough mission, tough mission! Warning, warning! Warning, warning! Warning, warning! 2200 warning, fuel. Warning. Still pretty enough. So guys, that was the last training mission. From now on, I will show you how to uh, set up the uh, career or the campaign, how to start it, how to set up uh, it properly for you, and I will do some uh, some missions in it, so you will see how it goes. Thank you for watching. I'm going back into the main screen. Thank you for watching this video. As always, have fun, take care and bye.